And we'll walk round compound, see some tigers, and then hopefully Pete's. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, Raven. How are you? Light, light, not too dark, not too light. There we go. Hey, sugar pie. Sleepy. Little sleepy girl. Little pretty girl. Little pretty girl. Yeah. Oh. Hello, sir. Do you realize the uh, space that you just entered? Honestly, the cats, they don't, they don't really ever pay toads any mind. So, toads seem to just be able to kind of have free, free reign, free access. One of the funnier things I saw, probably not so funny for the toad, but it was, I, I couldn't, it was, I couldn't help but think of it as uh, somewhat comical. Um, this was uh, Danya. If you guys, some of you might remember Danya. This was years ago. I just was uh, asking Danya, like, hey, Danya, come over here. And she was kind of in the middle of the enclosure, and she was walking up to me. And there was a toad, and she, like, with her peach, she stepped on the toad. And then just kind of, and it wasn't like, it, she didn't put all of her weight, but enough of it to where it was like, ah. And, and then she just went like, ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> what was that? What was that? And the toad was like, ah! and it just like hop, 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 and hopped away. Like, I don't know what just happened. So, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Whoa. Whoa. Wait a minute. Something doesn't seem right. Something seems different. Hmm. No, we didn't put a new coat of paint on the thing. Gosh, I can't for the life of me. Well, maybe if I just lean up on this fence. Oh, ha, 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 Oh, it's not there. Oh, it's not there. Yeah. Yeah. Dismantled this enclosure. Dismantled the enclosure. We sold Zara and Mike, uh, Mika. Keep on doing that. We sold, there were some people, they drove by and they're like, those are some nice tigers. Can we have some? And we're like, how much? And they're like, 50 bucks a piece. And we're like, yeah. So they seemed like they knew what they were doing. <laughs> um, no, they're in the alleyway. There in the alleyway. This enclosure needed to be, uh, it needed to be taken down. It's the oldest enclosure. Or it was. It's not an enclosure anymore. Can't really keep tigers in this one now. But, yeah. It was the first one that was ever built here on the property. First one. And we dismantled this entire thing yesterday. This enclosure was full, 100% yesterday morning. And by yesterday evening, it was gone. That was a lot of work. Oh man, it was a lot of work. Huge effort. Huge effort. I'm going to be still got to take this, uh, this one fence. This is a double fence double fence so it's like you still got this fence but then there's this fence and yeah um i was on the cutting torch i was doing cutting torch all day all day from about 7 30 in the morning till 8 in the evening just cutting torch and yeah i mean you can see you know cutting on the brackets and then you got to cut through the pipes. And then there's uh, there's the thick sucker rod. You got to, like, actually, technically, this right here, this is a piece of sucker rod. Because the sucker rod actually goes on the ground level. And it helps to kind of keep the fence um, 
like attached to something at the ground level. And with the cutting torch, because you're using oxygen and acetylene, and you have to you have to sit there and just you have to yeah you have your you have your your gas and it's mixed to a certain level and then you have to hold the flame like onto the metal itself you have to you have to get the metal prepped you have to get it primed and then once the metal's at the an appropriate temperature that's when you actually kind of like hit the hit the handle the and then it and then you can actually cut through it it's physics but what that means is you have to spend a lot of time hi meek meek hi meek meek hi bb oh my goodness bb what that means though is that you have to sit you know, like if I were cutting this pipe, so I want to cut this thing, I have to just sit there with the thing for a long time, just. Wait for the metal to get like red hot, and then, and then it, and then it, and then it's able to kind of cut. It's able to do its thing. That's how that works. And there's times where it's like, you're having to go down here or you're having to do some other stuff up here. So, so, you're having to like hold the thing and like you're having to do that and just like hold, hold position uh, for like two, three minutes. Uh, depending on the thickness of the metal. Uh, and you're like, you're, you're balancing on a ladder, like one foot, and then you're underneath like a pipe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what the sound that makes. You know those guys that uh, paint themselves gold? They paint themselves gold, and then they they just like they stand in one spot, and then people give them money. I felt like one of those guys. I felt like one of those guys, and I gotta tell you, I'm feeling it. I am feeling it today, out there all day. And also because you're dealing with stuff, you're dealing with hot, hot, hot slag, molten metal, and it's just flying all over the place. So I've got like wide brimmed hat, sunglasses, t-shirt, long sleeve button up shirt, jeans and boots and it's like in the mid 90s for the temperature which actually wearing a lot of clothes when it gets hot out like that if it's really sunny technically you can actually you're more protected you can actually feel cooler than you would if you were just doing like shorts and t-shirt believe it or not Parts of my, I, I did have a few times where my clothes actually caught fire <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> uh, had some, had some molten slag like go down my collar and actually caught my t-shirt on like, the. so I had a t-shirt on underneath my button up shirt and then a piece of metal on like, and it went and a big chunk of metal just like, floop. And then I'm just like, hmm, like my tummy feels warm. Like ah, ah, and then real, and, and it's like it's molten metal. You're just pressing it further into your body. <laughs> and I had, I had, just, I had burn holes like that, like on my shirt. Oh, so I am, I am all sorts of tired. Um, my brain don't work so good right now. But we got it done. That's the big thing. We got it done. And a new enclosure is going to be built there. A new enclosure is going to be built there. But we've talked about that before. Even in like some of those previous uh, fundraising campaigns that we've done in the past. Like that enclosure needed to be taken down. There, there was no way that we could have especially Zara. We could not have Zara in that enclosure. 
I mean, you fast forward three, four months from now and it would have been problematic. It would have been problematic. Problems and problems. I'm not saying that she would have been able to climb out of that enclosure, but I'm not going to say that she wouldn't have been able to. <laughs> And yeah, it just, there were just parts of it that were just getting rusty and it just had lost a lot of its structural integrity. So yeah, that enclosure just needed to be decommissioned and it was. So honestly, it was kind of a bittersweet thing. And Heidi was talking about that. Heidi and I were talking about that. You know, all the cats that have lived in there and even the cats that have lived there and since I've been here. I mean, but during her time, she's known over 30. Yeah. And hey, she listed them all, I think, on her Instagram. She listed them all on her Instagram. Over 30 cats lived in that enclosure. So then, it's like you take something down like that. You, you decommission something like that. And, uh... You just think of, like, the... You think of the legacy of it, I guess. Hi, beautiful. Hi, precious. So, I have to apologize in advance, but this week's webcasts, they're, they're gonna be short. My brain ain't working so good. My body hurts, and I still need to, uh, oh gosh, I gotta get on the grill. I mean, we were doing the, oh, there were still some different things that we were doing today, and I gotta grill some food, and then I have to leave, I have to drive, I have to drive four hours later, so, yeah, my time is, uh, I only got so much time, I only have so much time, I only got so much energy, I only have so much brain power, to be honest, that was a big day. That was a big day, and it's going to take a little bit of time to kind of recover from that. It's like I still feel like I feel it in my eyeballs. <laughs> so it's just going to take a few days of just kind of resting and eating good food and trying to get some sleep and stuff like that and, you know, feel better. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but it was a huge effort. Huge effort, you know. It wasn't just me doing the cutting torch. I mean, Heidi was, of course, directing the troops from the tractor. She was pulling up stakes and stuff like that. She was getting different things and hauling metal back and forth. And, um, you know, Rachel was out there. And we have our two new uh, interns. Two new interns. There's uh, Emily and Narwhal. Um, Kristen. Kristen Yellowpants. She's actually been here. Um, she's going to be hanging out with us for... Uh, for a little bit. Billy. Good old tricky Billy. Was out there on the chop saw. Cutting up different pieces. After after I had kind of like broken some of the things down with the cutting torch. He would then take them and then further cut them up. So that they could be loaded onto the tractor. So it was kind of an assembly line of shorts. And then the girls were undoing... Uh, they were they were undoing clips and they were undoing wires and stuff like that. They were rolling up the chain link, which then that was another thing. So it's like you have these gigantic stretches of chain link and then you have to re-roll them, which that's heavy. That's heavy stuff. We had Darian, he was over here and he was just a he was just a madman. Running around with this with this crowbar, pulling things down, good assistant. Mark was helping to put out fires. David was taking on, uh, helping to load certain things, but then he was also doing tours while we were all doing that stuff. So again, huge effort, big collaborative effort by multiple people. And here's the thing, like we, I was honestly fully anticipating, and I thought it was going to be a very good timeline to get everything done um, within like a two-day period. I thought that was going to be a very, like, 
I was I would be very pleasantly like yes basically like today as of as of me filming I was expecting to be done dismantling that enclosure like right now I did not think that we were going to get it done in one day absolutely not didn't think it was gonna be done didn't think it was possible but we did it we were all just really really kind of gunning for it you know really just gunning for it everyone was working so hard and we're all paying for it <laughs> we're, we're all just all just uh, <laughs> um but yeah so anyway Heidi's gonna be designing a whole new enclosure and then we're gonna have Cal Calvin good old Alabama Calvin He's going to be coming out and he's going to be building a new enclosure over there and it's going to be really big and awesome. I know that Heidi and Rachel and Calvin, they're going to be going to, over to this place and they're going to be actually scoping out different concrete structures um, that we're going to have to, you know, get and then rent a crane and put them in there. So it's going to be something really cool. A new enclosure. So exciting. OMG. But I only have so many, I only have so much energy, so much brain power to be able to film. I'm going to um, end this webcast. I'm going to film another webcast. I'm going to film a fancy cast. I'm going to get a couple of Instagram things done. I've got to get all my filming done in one sitting. So these are going to have to be a little bit more short than normal. I hope that you will, I hope you understand. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. I know I didn't hit all the cats. I'll go and do the upper, okay? So for the Thursday webcast, that's going to be the upper. And then, oh my gosh, I didn't even, I'm not even going to do Boomer Slade and Rally Zubiri and, and uh, the Gafluga Flaggles and the Lemurs. Mm -mm. I'll do that for fancy people. I'll do that for fancy people. But you'll have to actually see those guys uh, next week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you do subscribe, if you don't subscribe, hit that subscribe button. And, uh... I'll see you later. All right. Bye-bye.